1969, economists made predictions about the global GDP for the next 50 years. According to this forecast, by 2019, Japan would surpass the United States to become the country with the highest global GDP, with the U.S. ranking second. The predicted GDP figures for Japan and the United States were significantly ahead, far surpassing the other eight countries. The Philippines also made it into the top 10. However, China, currently ranked second in global GDP, did not make it into the top 10. Obviously, this economic forecast was based on the domestic economic conditions and development potential of various countries at that time. It is very interesting to compare these predictions with the current situation after half a century. According to the 1969 Global GDP Forecast List, the top 10 countries by GDP in 2019 were as follows. Japan ranked first with a GDP of $21.5 trillion, followed closely by the United States, also reaching $21.5 trillion. West Germany's GDP was $9.1 trillion, ranking third. The Soviet Union ranked fourth with $8.7 trillion. Brazil ranked fifth with $3.05 trillion. The Philippines ranked sixth with a GDP of $2.95 trillion, and India ranked seventh, also reaching $2.95 trillion. South Korea's GDP was $2.72 trillion, ranking eighth. Indonesia ranked ninth with $2.6 trillion. France ranked tenth with a GDP of $2.55 trillion. Surprisingly, when comparing with the International Monetary Fund's list of the top 20 countries by GDP in 2019, eight out of the 10 countries in the predicted list ranked among the top 12 in actual rankings for 2019. Only Indonesia and the Philippines ranked lower, with Indonesia at 16th and the Philippines significantly lower at 35th. In terms of numbers, the predictions for the United States and India were very accurate. The predicted GDP for the United States was $21.5 trillion, while the actual GDP in 2019 was $21.38 trillion. India's predicted GDP was $2.95 trillion, and the actual GDP in 2019 was $2.836 trillion. The prediction for France was also close. The predicted GDP for France was $2.55 trillion, while the actual GDP in 2019 was $2.729 trillion. The largest discrepancies between prediction and reality were for Japan and the Philippines. The predicted GDP for Japan was $21.5 trillion, while the actual GDP in 2019 was $5.118 trillion. The predicted GDP for the Philippines was $2.95 trillion, but the actual GDP in 2019 was only $0.3768 trillion. Additionally, the predicted GDP for West Germany was $9.1 trillion, while in 2019, Germany's GDP was $3.89 trillion. The predicted GDP for the Soviet Union was $8.7 trillion, while Russia's GDP in 2019 was $1.70 trillion. Over the past 50 years, there have been significant changes in the global political and economic landscape. The Soviet Union, ranked fourth in the predicted rankings, disintegrated in 1991, with Russia becoming its main successor state. West Germany ranked third in the predicted rankings, and East Germany reunified in 1990 to become present-day Germany. The fact that China, currently ranked second in global GDP, did not appear in the predicted list is somewhat surprising. However, if you understand the situation of China at that time, it is still understandable. China was in turmoil and upheaval before 1949 with poverty and backwardness characterizing its overall image to the world. Around 1969, China was deeply mired in a food crisis. China's economic takeoff began with the implementation of the reform and opening up policy in 1978. By 2018, in just 40 years, the economy had grown 244 times. China surpassed Japan to become the world's second largest economy in 2010. Today, China has the most complete industrial system globally and is the world's factory. 
These changes in China were unimaginable in 1969. The absence of developed European countries like the United Kingdom, Italy, and Spain from the predicted top 10 list is also surprising, especially the UK. This might be because economists of that time had already predicted the shift of the global economic center towards Asia. Please share your thoughts in the comments section for further discussion. Expectations for Japan in the prediction were particularly high. The forecast was made in 1969. In fact, in 1968, Japan surpassed the then Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, to become the world's second largest economy, second only to the United States. After Japan's defeat in World War II, the economy was nearly collapsing. With support from the United States, Japan invested in post-war reconstruction and quickly recovered its economy. Japanese companies rapidly developed in various industries such as automobiles, machinery, biopharmaceuticals, electronics, and finance, and began to gain a place in the international market. From 1961 to 1969, Japan's GDP growth rate reached a historical peak. However, the Heisei era, 1989 to 2019, marked Japan's transition from the collapse of the bubble economy to three decades of economic stagnation. Hence, it is often referred to as the lost 30 years. This was also unimaginable in 1969. The Philippines was one of the wealthiest countries in Asia, along with Japan and Singapore between the 1950s and 1970s after World War II. But the gap between rich and poor continued to widen. From 1966 to 1971, despite the literal unemployment rate dropping from 7.2% to 5.2%, poverty actually worsened. In 2021, 55.30% of the Philippines' population lives under U.S. $5.50 per day. Recently, Goldman Sachs's Global Investment Research Division has released predictions for the top 10 economies by 2075. China is projected to lead with a GDP of $57 trillion, followed by India at $52.5 trillion and the U.S. at $51.5 trillion. The list also includes Indonesia, Nigeria, Brazil, Germany, UK, Japan, and Russia. These estimates indicate potential shifts in global economic power in the coming decades. Goldman Sachs believes that the period of fastest global economic growth is over. As population growth slows down, economic expansion is also gradually slowing. Some emerging economies and powerhouses in Asia are expected to continue to catch up with and surpass developed countries. The center of global GDP will shift more towards Asia in the next 30 years. Among the most significant changes, China may surpass the United States by 2035 to become the world's largest economy. India may also surpass the United States by 2075 to rise to second place. Although the economies of China and India may surpass that of the United States by 2075 in terms of per capita GDP, the prosperity of the United States will still be more than twice that of China and India. In addition, Goldman Sachs predicts that by 2050, the world's top five economies will be China, the United States, India, Indonesia, and Germany. And by 2075, countries with rapid population growth such as Nigeria, Pakistan, and Egypt may emerge, which means that if policies and institutions are in place, these countries also have the opportunity. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thank you for watching.